Hey guys, whether you guys are in the new system, that's the new switch, or the older one, in order to manage all your software here and clean it up, so if you need to run an update and you have no more space, this would be one of the fixes. So you could clean up stuff and delete some games and get rid of them, or just buy a micro SD card or a bigger micro SD card so you can put even more games. Anyways, we're just gonna go into system settings. In system settings, we're gonna scroll down until we see data management. Under data management, just scroll down, manage software. Inside of here, you're gonna see what's taking up so much space. So in this case, we're gonna delete some stuff. So for example, I do see that my system memory, I only have 3.7 gigs of free space, which is nothing. So in order to gain more space, I do have to delete some stuff. So I'm gonna delete this one. So I'm just gonna tap right there. I'm gonna go on and delete the software. Now, what happens if I delete a game that I purchased? Uh, nothing. Everything's in your account. I can just re-download this later on if I want to play it. So I'm going to tap OK. So right now, as you guys can see, my free space moved on to 10 gigs, which is still not good enough. So I have to delete even more stuff. So I'm going to go on and delete this as well. Delete. And by the way, this is how you can delete any games. Obviously, there's other ways of deleting. You can actually click on the game itself. But this is easier because you get to see how big games are and how much space they're taking up. So there we go. We just did all that. And down here below, we're going to see that all these are not really installed games. So that's why they're taking up zero megabytes. So like I mentioned before, we're just going to have to insert a SD, micro SD card, which is just on the back here of your Nintendo Switch. You can insert one right here. All right, so we got our SD card right here. And what we're going to do is just insert that in. So this 128 gigs, which is going to be more than enough. Obviously, you might not need as much. And all we have to do is just put it in there. There we go. Close this up once again. I'm going to flip this around. And finally, we're going to be able to install or make any updates. So let's just go right into it. So this message, not everybody's going to get this. This was a micro SD card that I used on another switch. And that's why I'm getting this message. That's fine. That means you have to delete everything inside that micro SD card, which makes sense. You have to format it. That's because Nintendo doesn't want you to transfer games from another Nintendo to this Nintendo this way. So you can't just swap micro SD cards. Right now, it's just gonna go ahead and reboot like it always does. So right now, we don't have to format it because it kind of just did that for us. So what we have to do right now is just go and install anything that we wanted to. So I wanted to run an update on Fortnite. I'm gonna be able to do that right now. So after update, internet, then here we go. It's gonna check for that update. And we can just go back. Right at this point, we can click on Fortnite. And we're gonna see that it's download, downloading right now. So finally, this is working. If I click on download options, you're gonna see this. Download the software first, cancel download or just go back. We're gonna go back in this case. So right now it is telling me that it's gonna take an hour, but that's just because of the Wi-Fi network that I have it hooked on. So I'm gonna actually change that up and make that go faster. But as far as this video goes, we are all done. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.